It's just after dawn. And 16 year old Caroline Marks. Have you seen a wave yet? Is getting in her zone. This rookie is about to compete against some of the most decorated surfers in the world. On land, she stands only five feet, five inches. But in the water, she's a giant. Carolyn Marks, a seasoned, crusty veteran at the age of 16. I'm grateful for the opportunity, and it's really fun. I'm exactly where I want to be, so I'm stoked. <laughs> On some level, she's just getting started. This is her a couple years ago. These days, she drips confidence and moves with style. A ride and rise that's taken her as high as number three in the world. It definitely happened really quick, that's for sure. It kind of went from like zero to 100 like super fast. I feel like a couple years ago, I was just like getting into surfing and yeah. now it's like I'm on the world tour. It's been a fruitful season and a win at this week's Supergirl Pro Comp would be the icing on the cake. Yeah. Remember the name? I, I smell a world title down the line. Caroline is the youngest surfer ever to qualify for the World Championships Tour. We're talking about the Super Bowl of surfing. It's the top 17 women in the entire world. Obviously, the end goal is to be world champion. The boards that I've like won on, I'm still riding this year. Okay. A few days before the competition, we met Caroline and her family at their home in San Clemente, <laughs> California. Her parents, Darren and Sarah Mark, say they saw it early. She was different. Take me back to the beginning so I understand that there were signs early on that, that, that she was certainly gifted athletically, right? She was super into horseback riding and she was a barrel racer, the braids, the boots, the, she'd be winning buckles and all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Born and raised in Florida, Marx is the third of six children. Yeah, like the outside today yeah, and I the can, inside today. Yeah, I can see connecting all the way through. Her brother, Luke Marx, is a pro surfer too. She says watching her big bro ride and compete back in the day planted the seeds for surfing. It's so weird because like one day I, I just got back into surfing and I just wanted to be exactly like my brothers. I looked up to them and I wanted to be just like them. Every day after school I started surfing and surfing and surfing and then I was like, I'm done with the horse thing. I just want to surf. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, Marx was dominating. Still green, didn't matter. Here's the rookie sensation out of Florida. Big glass there for Caroline Marx. She developed a habit for winning. Next year she won like three out of the four surfing America divisions, which no one ever did. And then I she won like a it. national championship for women, the youngest girl, and it just started snowballing from there. With success came big decisions. It comes with the territory when hobbies become business. So at this point, you know, as parents, you have to make some tough decisions. Um, Sponsorships started coming so, your way. Yeah, so we realize now yeah. we have to start really taking this serious, but keeping her kind of shielded from the business side and just had, keeping it fun for her. You have really? wax on your board. I have no wax on my board, but it's all right. They packed up the whole family from Florida and they headed west, what some call the center of the surfing world. It's pretty insane. You know, there's eight of us counting my parents and we literally moved from Florida all the way to California just for my surfing. That's insane. That's a huge sacrifice for them, you know? Yeah. like. I don't even know if they really want to be out here. Caroline competes with the adults, but unlike her competitors, she's still technically in high school. So you have nine books left, so you got to get those done. She's homeschooled because she's been busy with business. I'm from Melbourne Beach, but I live in California. Back at the competition, the weather is a challenge. People might think a wave's a wave, but it's not. You have to become like a little mini weathermen in a sense where you have to understand the weather conditions, the winds, the tides, and then you have to be able to adjust your equipment to fit that particular heat. She improvises, she takes what's out there, makes the most of it, and she's on to the quarterfinals. And then on to the semi. And winning that heat, we're in a blue single with Carolyn Marks. But she's not doing it alone. This is family. Yeah, oh, we're taking a peek at Caroline Marks. Always has been. It's not just the competition that really gets her motivated. She's doing what she loves to do, which is really rewarding as a parent because you know your child is there at her happy place when she's in the water. Her parents say it's not easy trying to strike a balance between her aspirations in the water and the opportunities they create. She's very mature for her age, number one, but I still go through that, like, when I'm with her, it's like, Dad, come on, like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. everybody's here, like, you know, <laughs> can you go down over there or something? Yeah. So she is very much 16 in that regard. Yeah. But Mom, don't bring all the kids. It's like we're a circus <laughs> everywhere you go. Oh, yeah. Do you ever get concerned that on some level she's being robbed of a traditional childhood? No. I've actually let them go out and go to dances at other schools and prom and homecoming. Yeah. And every one of them came back and said, gosh, Mom, you know, it's fun, but it's not what I want to do. All I want to do is surf, and 
that's what's fun to me. That sounds way more fun than a prom or anything like that. Yeah, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. This is my room. I have trophies in here, but that's about it. Hardware of all shapes and sizes. I think the trophy is more money than the actual check I got that day. <laughs> what do you do with these checks? I uh, cash them in. You cash them in? Yeah. <laughs> I walk, it's so funny, because this is, this is probably the biggest contest I've ever won. Today, I'm playing on her turf. It's just a nice place to just to hang, but yeah, the waves get fun all along here, so I thought I'd show you guys this beach, even though the waves are small, but it's nice to come hang out. It's a cool place to check out. I was supposed to get a, uh, a surfing lesson from you. Yeah, I'd be glad to teach you how to surf. It's really, really small, but we can always try. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, if we're in the ocean, that's so fun. I really want to jump in anyways. What do I need to know how to do to stay on that board? <laughs> well, stand on your feet and get like a solid base. Do not stand straight up tall. And I got to admit, it ain't easy. At last, it's the final heat at the Supergirl Pro Surf Competition. Caroline is up against three-time world champion Carissa Moore. Ever since I started surfing, she's always been like that one person that I wanted to be like and I wanted to surf like. Moore may be her idol, but today they are strictly competitors. One of these two goddesses will walk out with a cape. Caroline doesn't back down, but in the end, it's not her day. We just finished the final. I got second. Um, yeah, we had a restart. It was really slow heat, but um, it was really close, and I'm glad how I surfed this whole event. And um, yeah, runner up's not too bad. She takes second place here today, Caroline Marks. Wise beyond her years, she speaks like a vet and works like she's never won a thing. There's not many people I can say like they love their job. Even if I didn't get paid, I'd still surf every day. The fact that I get paid to do what I love is pretty amazing. It's like a dream come true. This is the ride of a lifetime, and things are just getting started. For Nightline, I'm Zach Rikish in Southern California. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.